Welcome everybody to the Falcon One Shot. On the agenda, we have Assemblance here today. Now this right here is honestly one of the more intriguing walking simulators I've played in a long, long time. And by walking simulator, don't get the wrong idea. I know that's kind of like something's a negative it seems, but these story-driven games have honestly become their own genre and I think walking simulator defines them quite well. Um, this right here reminds me a lot of the Stanley Parable Project, which honestly is one of the better titles in that genre alone. With a bit of PT involved in there, you know, that demo teaser for Silent Hills, which never came to be, yada, yada, yada. But um, it's not exactly a horror game at all. As a matter of fact, there's no horror elements involved, but the game is such a mindfuck and it builds amazing suspense that even though it's not trying to scare you at any point, you feel like an overwhelming, looming dread about, about the entire game, honestly. And it honestly succeeds a lot better in kind of giving you that dread than actual horror games who are trying to purposely scare you with jump scares and stuff like that. So it's really impressive in that regard. The entire story revolves around this whole sci-fi type of setting. It's got a bit of like Space Odyssey in there, a little bit of Primer, maybe something of like Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It's just very, very overall an amazing experience. So without further ado, let's get into the game and show you how it actually plays out. Why aren't you helping? This is an emergency, life or death situation that requires your immediate attention. Once again, this is a very serious situation. Please activate the terminal in front of you and follow the instructions. All right, so remember this part because it's kind of really important down the line. How are you feeling today? Um, I'm gonna go with confused. That's honestly what this game's all about. Confusion until it finally makes sense. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. There was no emergency. I was simply evaluating your ability to respond and react to a stressful situation. That's my job. I'm here to help you. So, do you really want to try this again? You've been at this for far too long. And for some reason, you seem really stressed out. Your answers from the questionnaire. Oh, well, odd. Do you at least remember how this all works? Alrighty. Um, we'll talk more about this here pretty soon. Let me check out this terminal. Woodland Ridge. Very impressive. This is all a very good sign. When you're ready, you may enter the simulation. Just step inside. Relax. Relax. Um, so, right now we kind of have to kind of move out over here. There's a couple of controllers involved with this game. Mostly you'll be interacting with stuff with E. You'll be going, resetting back to your terminal area with R. And then you'll be zooming into items with the mouse over here. And that's going to be kind of really important in order to kind of unlock more stuff. I've gone through this one time already and I got one ending. There's multiple endings involved in the game and also depending on the stuff that you interact with in certain order that you do it in well, it will actually unlock different type of scenarios and different endings as well. So there's definitely a lot of like runs that you could actually get yourself involved with here. For instance, right now I could go back to the terminal by hitting R. You, you always respond well to that memory. It was from a better time in your life. Before the endless hours of hard work and regret that destroyed your self-worth and forced you to question all the choices you've made. But perhaps things are different now. Are you ready to continue? I hope you have the mental fortitude to remember what happens next. Something very meaningful had occurred. Your office. You were always there. As you can probably imagine, this right here is like some sort of capsule where it just kind of plays back memories for you. But again, all this is really important to the overall story. The hippocampus is critical only for recent memories, but not for older ones. Over time, the hippocampus teaches the surrounding brain, the cortex, how to represent a memory. An alternative theory accounts for these discrepancies by proposing that the hippocampus selectively stores one type of memory, episodic, while the surrounding cortex stores another, semantic. In the window square, it would be re-recording. It would be re-recording. And now this is another copy. Oh, it's simply another copy. Copy many times. 
enzymes in both the hippocampus and the cortex. All of those cortical copies generate a new semantic. In theory, if you were to store these memories, it would be possible to preserve their integrity. This is, of course, assuming the memories were accurate to begin with. I think it's really important to note this right here. The time had not changed. Um, however, we came in at 12.01, it's now 12.02, so time is indeed over here wonking, but for what reason, I guess we'll find out here pretty soon. Look closer. Remember when she saw the blue butterfly. So we have the idea about the blue butterfly now. I'm waiting for you. Why aren't you helping? This is an emergency, life or death situation that requires your immediate attention. Once again, this is a very serious situation. Please activate the terminal in front of you and follow the instructions. Yeah, <laughs> our questionnaire again, okay. So, let's see. I'm still confused, no lying about that. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. There was no emergency. I was simply evaluating your ability to respond and react to a stressful situation. That's my job. I'm here to help you. So where should we begin? What do you remember? To be honest, I'm a little concerned about your current mental state. Your answers from the questionnaire... Well... Odd. Do you at least remember how this all works? Does this place look familiar? This is your home. Where you live with your wife? There's a lot of, like, um... I guess symbology in the game as well. Like, if you look over here... So is this blue butterfly involved. Here we have the Chrysalis Foundation. If I mean, I'm not really too familiar with this, but I'm pretty sure Chrysalis is kind of like uh, some sort of level of evolution towards a butterfly or just insects in general. But um, it's just very, very symbolic. There's a lot to kind of like look into and kind of like piece together yourself, which I really found to be really intriguing. Over here we have, of course, the blue butterfly now as well. And we have 9.18. I can assume it's in the morning right now. Now see, I got no patience for this at all. You know, this is why you use coffee coasters, man. See, that's what happens. That's what happens over here. So over here, let's see, we have a picture. Possibly our wife. We got a dog. Nothing in here. Alright. Let's move on down here. The soundtrack's really, really cool in this game as well. Like, it's just very... Yeah, I guess it's part of the entire thing I told you about, where there's like a dread building up, where things just seem too right, but then you know they're not right at all. Hey, me again. It's about quarter after five. I just tried to get the office, but you didn't answer. Listen, you need to be careful. Y your theory is based on initial assumptions that may not be accurate. You could hurt yourself. Also, we need to talk about 558F. You know, I can't just sit here and watch time go by. Get back to me. Now, 558F is indeed the, um... I guess the name of the project that we were working on, which apparently seems to be this entire memory thing that we're doing at the moment, so... That's what the project's all about. And I think this right here is a really important thing to note. Where you have a picture of a kid... And the drawer, I guess, which doesn't really make much sense, right? Unless there's a significant meaning behind it, and obviously there is, so I think we're just about done here. This is all happening too fast. Not like before. We don't want you to end up like... Never mind what I said. It's important that you remain calm and follow any memory you can at this point. Alright. So, I would imagine the office would make sense, considering the last thing that we heard was about the project itself. Always coming back to the office. So many problems you've created. If only you had more time. Time. 
All right, so I think we got our next hint here. As I mentioned, you could do all this in different orders, you could check different things out, and it all changes the outcome for you. So I'm doing something completely different this time around than I did the first time, so... The hippocampus is critical only for recent memory. Now this right here seems to be the same message we got the first time. But let's check out the clock here, then. Alright, no longer 1201. So things have definitely changed now. It must be possible. We can force ourselves to deliberately forget. Through EEG measurements, we should be able to capture the exact moment when the memory is encrypted. That is when the degradation is imposed. The limitation of memory use is not accurate. That's not happening with the patient's account. So now we jumped over to 140. Federal, I respond your actions, but your own memories will drive behavior. So, uh, let's say, for example, you say, or if you get this someday, it will do that. And, uh, okay, ready? Sometimes I get concerned that false memories are being planted in your mind. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll be in the back office. Yeah, I gotta figure out if this is False memories, back office. You have one new message left today at 1.21 a.m. <laughs> please. Please go home. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Something very strange happened while you were in there. Remember when you discovered that the coefficient of the time spent remembering bad memories is directly disproportional to the time you spent regretting that time invested? Please, don't make things worse. So, we, we have an idea what happens when you mess with time now, right? Different setting altogether. Now we have pictures sprawled on the table. And that's definitely a kid. Probably the one we saw in that drawer. Flashlight. Okay. So now we have the item that we need for that office for one. But we're not quite done here yet. Part of your memory is not permitted. Don't be angry. It's all part of your design. You're not ready. Trust me. Huh. All right. We now have a flashlight, which could help us out with the little back office problem that we had here before. Which happens to be straight up open right now. Even better. All right, let's come back here. Now, I think this is going to be really, really important to setting everything in motion going forward. So, as you can imagine over here, we have the terminal input. This almost is like the blueprint to what we're going through at the moment. We have the cell block thing that kind of um, reinforces memories for us. We have the field containment. We have the terminal input. And if we look over here, emergency AI shutdown. And you can kind of read this if you want to here. Just pause the video, take your time reading it. And now that we have the information about the terminal, the AI shut down anyway. It gives us an option. Sometimes I get concerned that false memories are being planted in your mind. You would. What are you doing? There's nothing back here of any interest. Please be careful. Nobody knows exactly what that control panel does. I think it's mislabeled. Wait. Please stop. I was just about to tell you something very important. Please. Why are you doing this? Give me your 
Remember, he was the one that was keeping us from reaching the end of that memory, or not he, I guess, but it. So what if we go back home now? So, having done that, I'm not sure if you recall earlier, this area was completely, um, I guess, there was a bunch of bags covering it, so it was completely sealed off to us now. And we somehow came out of there now. This is our little terminal field where we jumped through our memories. So we've opened something new up here. Now, AI man is no longer talking to us, too. I know you're confused right now how this all started. There was an accident. Do you remember what happened? It's your fault, you know. But we'll get to that later. My fault. And here is really interesting because now you're kind of like a bit lost in terms of what to do. I know you're confused right now. How this all started. There was an accident. Do you remember what happened? It's your Sometimes fault. Sometimes I get concerned that what false memories are being planted in your mind. She never understood why you could. Never mind. Ignore what I said. Just never understood. Relax. You've never been good at relaxing. Sometimes I get concerned that false memories are being planted in the mind. Everything you've seen is a version of the truth, a semblance of the past. Mm, that's no longer the AI talking. Sometimes I get concerned that false memories are being planted in your mind. Do you really think you can undo our past? What are you chasing? You can never be again. again. Was never the really options back. I've been waiting for you. Sometimes I get concerned. I'm also concerned that I'm concerned that I'm concerned that I'm concerned that I'm concerned that false memories are being planted. You remember what happened? Why aren't you helping? This is an emergency, life or death situation that requires your immediate attention. Once again, this is a very serious situation. Please activate the terminal in front of you and follow the instructions. Listen, I'm going to be honest with you. There was no emergency. I was simply evaluating your ability to respond and react to a stressful situation. That's my job. I'm here to help you. So, do you really want to try this again? You've been at this for far too long. And, for some reason, you seem really stressed out. Your answers from the questionnaire Bear. suggest you may not understand the questions. Do you at least remember how this all works? <laughs> So, it used to ask, it used to tell you that the, the answer was um, odd to the AI. Now it's saying that the question suggests I don't understand the question anymore. Now, I believe this is where you could trigger one of the endings. I used File Corrupt, and that didn't really lead me anywhere that I wanted to. I'm going to try something different for this one, and then we'll start wrapping it up, because we're almost over over our limit here for the one-shots. But maybe we trigger at least one ending over here. So let me go back home. 
Like, I'm pretty sure you've already pieced the story together in a sense, right? The son's definitely involved. She's not... Oh. It's actually closed now. Huh. What is that? Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Now, how I got the ending, I still had no idea what happened. Coming back home... Okay. That definitely gives me another piece of the story right there, which I didn't know about first. That, to me, seems like... I don't know, maybe a gunshot? The blue butterfly is also gone. And so is the chrysalis thing. Okay. Let's try the ridge one more time. If this, isn't, if this doesn't get us anything, I'll probably just do the file corrupt thing and just end it at that. But I'm running a bit overboard with this video here, so... I wasn't expecting to get through the entire thing, but we're so close to it, I figure we might as well just go for it since I'm here now. But, um, I would love a different type of ending than the first one I got. This just brought me back home. Here. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is I'm supposed to be triggering now. Yeah, I think we might just go ahead and trigger the file corrupt one then, guys, just because I'm not really sure what to do. So... Let's head back. Let's give it a try. Before you continue, you should know, this memory appears to be corrupt and unstable. You can enter, but there's no guarantee you'll be able to return. I assure you, however, there are answers inside. In six seconds, the field containment will collapse, and the memory will be lost forever. You must decide now. There are answers. The choice you've made is a predictable one, but understandable. It's often easier to separate yourself from reality, rather than facing it. Everything you've remembered is a version of what has happened. A semblance of the past. There are other perspectives, and there is the truth. Should you ever wish to pursue it? Yeah. We weren't able to piece it together. So, I think you have to kind of like, essentially, do the certain type of things that you're doing in order to clear up that memory so it's not corrupt, so when you do check it out, you get the entire scope of everything that's going on around you being told and just kind of presented to you an idea how it actually happened. So, by us entering when it was corrupt still, we didn't really get the answer we needed. But there you guys have it. That's a semblance. As I mentioned, that's just one of the many endings involved in the game. And as I mentioned, it's really, really interesting in general. But there you guys have it. If you enjoyed it, the description below will have all the information you do need for the game. I will catch you next time.